after you have started your machine and allowed some time to establish a flow of material across and down the deck, you can readjust the controls to obtain the best possible separation quality. First, start readjustment of the air settings. Balance the airflow starting with the last fan and work toward the feeder. Reduce the air of each fan to the lowest point where the material remains agitated and free flowing. If an air gate is closed completely, advance to the next fan. The most common mistake in air control is the use of too much air. Separation is not made by blowing the light material from the heavy, but by using a controlled airflow to create the stratified layers that are then separated by the vibrating action of the deck. Excessive bubbling should be kept to a minimum. The bed should be fluid in appearance. After a fluid air pattern is established, move to the discharge end of the machine and observe the depth of material across the discharge end of the deck. The surface of the material should be smooth and uniform. The depth of the high side of the deck should be two to three times as deep as on the low side. If the bed is too deep on the high side, first increase the side tilt then decrease the eccentric speed or slightly increase the air. All of these actions will cause the material to shift toward the low side of the deck. If the bed is too deep on the low side of the deck, first increase the eccentric speed, then decrease the air or side tilt. These adjustments will cause material to shift toward the high side of the deck. Readjust the air pattern if necessary. Check the end rays. If properly adjusted, the depth of material at the feed end should be two to four times greater than at the discharge end. If the bed of material is too deep, the end rays will have to be increased to cause the material to flow away from the feed end faster. If the bed of material is too thin, decrease the end rays to retain material at the feed end longer. If side tilt is not at the maximum, increase it slightly. This will cause the material to shift toward the low side of the deck. Increase the eccentric speed until the proper pattern is obtained again. Continue increasing side tilt and eccentric speed alternately until the side tilt is at the maximum amount where you can still maintain the correct bed depth by adjusting the eccentric speed. Once a quality separation is established, begin increasing the feed rate or capacity. Open the feed gate slightly. This increases the feed rate so the bed depth will expand. Then lift the deck's end rays to compensate for the increased feed rate. Continue increasing the feed rate and end rays until the maximum capacity has been achieved, where the machine can still maintain the required separation. It is possible to get additional capacity by opening the gates along the high side of the deck. Begin by opening the gate closest to the discharge end of the machine. The feed gate can be opened enough to compensate for the material that is being removed from the side of the deck. Readjust the air if necessary. Many customers ask us how to determine when they are getting the most from a gravity separator. The best method to determine the effectiveness of a gravity is to weigh a like volume of material taken from locations along the deck's discharge end. Determine the bulk density of the light and heavy product. The gravity should be set to obtain the maximum weight difference between the light and heavy products. The most positive method of testing, if processing a commodity, is the use of a U.S. standard weight per bushel tester. The test weights of the heavy, middle, and light fractions should be recorded along with the machine settings to obtain them, as well as any other pertinent information. Most operators can get acceptable separations after working with their machine for a few minutes. However, in some cases, even experienced operators run into problems they cannot solve. Many expect results too soon. When an adjustment is made, wait two to five minutes before deciding whether it has made any improvement. Also, make only one adjustment at a time. For help, click on the Frequently Asked Questions icon.